Hi guys, John here, Common Sense Outdoors. So recently I've showed making fire with an aluminum can. Uh, earlier I showed uh, making fire with cell phone battery along with a couple other kinds of batteries. So while we're on the kick of unique ways to make fire, let's talk about another one. Uh, this is something that you're highly likely, likely to have even if you're just out for a walk in the woods uh, on a hike or whatever and that's just a simple water bottle so um, I didn't even look to see how overdone this has already been done or not but we're just gonna do it and it's also gonna show us the importance of having some little pieces of char cloth in your wallet, in your kits, with you, somewhere you're going to have it. Let me turn the camera down. We'll see if we can make this happen. <clears throat> now, most water bottles are ribbed like this which isn't what you want but any water bottle especially if it's smooth around the top portion of the bottle will work get these bubbles out of my way and I'm just going to use the Sun and this water bottle to create somewhat of a prism similar to a magnifying lens if I can find the Sun direct it through my water bottle just dial in that dot it's a pretty good dot right there we got it already Take our char cloth, put it into our bird's nest. And just like that, guys, fire with water. you enjoyed that uh, probably way easier than this aluminum can method there's no polishing involved all you need is a water bottle and water and char cloth <clears throat> sorry for having to do these videos on the uh, patio here fire season here is in full effect it's been hot hot uh, and I'm not about to go back in the woods and, and do these Start a, start a forest fire and get in trouble and all that good stuff. So, do it right here in a fire pit on a patio and we're good to go. Hope you liked it. Thank you for your views, your comments, your likes, and your support. And we'll see you in the next video.